My name is Rachel Woods. I'm a freshman at Thomas Jefferson High School. Throw the dip. And my poem is called No Laughing Matter. Depression lies behind the eyes of those who try to find the part of their mind that is dying to survive. Depression is not a momentary lapse in judgment. Depression means more than the scars painted on the skin of those that fight themselves every day. It's deadly and dangerous, a downpour of toxic rain, and it is not a joke. It's a disease that devours you whole, starting at your heart, destroying all that you love and ripping everything you know out of your system until the lie has been told to make the truth, while anything else you hear it seems blurry, confusing, and backward. You can no longer distinguish what is real and what you made up in your own twisted mind. Who is trying to light up the dark and who is simply trying to light you on fire? So you sit alone in your cave, digging your grave, day by day, counting the seconds until your self-destruction will take place. And it can't be cured with a few pills and some kind words. You can't erase years of suffering, pain, and regret with just one smiling face in a single day. Forcing your smile to become meaningful and real is not as easy as it may seem. And none of this is an attempt at gaining attention. The tears cried are not made of exaggerated drama. Blood spilled from the veins is not a combination of the wants of a spotlight and an audience. All of it is constructed from the numerous types of torture being laid on you time after time. Hearing those words being yelled at you again like an icy blizzard in a frozen tundra until the point where it feels numb or natural. For the scars to become just another part of your life. The hurt is dissolved into your heart and you accept loneliness like an imaginary friend because you feel like it's all you have left. You can't escape the thoughts that tell you that everything you touch turns to glass. So clumsy, you can never keep a vase intact. You wonder how your heart can still beat after being shattered while you feel like your bones should be ash in the cemetery with your dreams where they have rested since that telephone line was broken and your hopes can no longer communicate with your mind. When they left to die, you were still somehow expected to survive. Some people don't know what it's like to be your own worst enemy. Crowds upon crowds don't understand the battlefield you've made of your world. Others go as far as to laugh at the people who face the daily challenges. You don't constantly contemplate suicide because you've put your torrent on your life. No, you just had a bad day. You got into a fight with your friend, and that's why you feel like a waste of space. These people don't know what you've been through, so they act like your emotions don't matter. That nothing that happens to you means anything because there are people who have it worse than you. No matter what it is, there will always be something more damaging, more distressing, more life-threatening, always something worse. But that doesn't mean that your pain is worthless. Pain, still pain, yet it affects us all in different ways. So don't let anyone tell you it means nothing that you're suffering. Try and accept the open arms around you that you may have been blind to before. Yet most of all, remind people that jokes are supposed to be funny. And depression is no lack of matter.